The F-111 Aardvark is a U.S. aircraft built to kill everything. F-111 Aardvark was a true multi-role combat aircraft, developed to meet a bold United States Department of Defense DoD, edict that called for a multi-role aircraft that could meet all future tactical needs of all U.S. military services, the General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark proved to be a major success, albeit with a rocky start. It was a long-range, all-weather strike aircraft that was capable of navigating at low levels to destroy targets deep in enemy territory. The F-111 Aardvark had been originally conceived in early 1960 to combine the United States requirement for a fighter bomber with United States Navy's need for an air superiority fighter. F-111 entered service with the U.S. Air Force in 1967, and it was primarily employed as a bomber. The F-111 was a major step forward, but it required a new engine, wings and radar to enable it to complete its mission of dropping 8,000 pounds of bombs on a target 1,500 miles away without refueling. It was the first aircraft to utilize an afterburning turbofan engine, which provided it the power to fly supersonically to Europe without tankers. The F-111 set a record for the longest low-level supersonic flight, 172 miles at less than 1,000 feet altitude, on November 9, 1966. The F-111's wings were straight for takeoffs, landings, or slow-speed flight, but by sweeping its wings rearward, it could exceed twice the speed of sound Mach 2. It featured a swept wing, one that could be changed in flight, and could vary between 16 and 72.5 degrees, with side-by-side -side seating for a pilot and weapons systems officer. The advanced avionics allowed for night-slash-all-weather flight close to the ground. The aircraft's radar system could enable the F-111 to fly at just 200 feet off the ground in changing terrain without pilot intervention. The system allowed the pilot to shift the aircraft while radar controlled the altitude. The avionics also helped locate and bomb targets at night and in bad weather, while the F-111 was also able to take off and land on runways as short as 3,000 feet. The F-111F variant was also equipped with an all-weather and slash AVQ-26 paved TAC infrared targeting designator slash reader carried in a pod-mounted turret under the fuselage. The aircraft could track and designate ground targets for laser, infrared and electro-optical bombs and production variants of the F-111 had its serve and role that included ground attack slash interdiction, strategic bombing, with nuclear weapons, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare. It was truly a cutting-edge multi-role aircraft, including being the first production variable geometry wing aircraft as well as to feature terrain-following radar for low-level, high-speed flight.